not very inviting. Welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see here, we've got some, I'm going to move my cup of tea. Uh, we've got some uh, indoor bonsai. Um, full jades. No. Don't listen to me. Talking rubbish. We've got four money plants and one jade. This is obviously the jade. Um, different styles, hence why I thought I'd put them out. Um, this is just some of the ones that I'm going to be doing over the next. Well, I want to get these done today, and then I've got a load more to do over the week. I'll just fit them in. I'm not going to spend too much time on them because um, I don't think they need it. It's just basic pruning. Um, tidy them up, get out the weeds, and um, yeah, I might put a wire or two on on a couple um, but yeah just basically tidy them up have a look for insects if you can hear that weird clicking noise it's the cat um, they like to hover around the cat flap it's one of them newfangled electronic thingies and it, the, the, the little I don't know there's like a solenoid inside just clicks away when they're near it um, they're doing that because <laughs> they're looking out <laughs> even they don't want to go outside bless them it is absolutely tipping it down. Uh, I was going to go out and tidy up a little bit because it's been really windy. It's blowing loads of stuff everywhere. I was going to tie it, but I couldn't find my armbands. So, um, yeah, I don't want to risk it. So, anyway, not to worry because that is the reason why Mark 1 Studio was built for this exact scenario. Um, so, yeah, I'll, um, I'll shift these out and we'll do one individually and then just... A bit of a play around. It's a Sunday. It's a day of God and newspapers. If you're into that kind of stuff. Anyway, right, let's let's crack on and do this. Right, <clears throat> I'm back. I got distracted. The um the cat um just annihilated a shelf in the lounge. Hence why um baby girl's in the background. She was on the floor. She was putting back on her stand. I thought it's fur in here for a minute before the cat does any more damage. But I'm just going to take this wire out. The soil's quite dry in this, so it's gonna, a lot's going to fall out. I'm going to take this wire out. Um, doesn't need it now. Roots on these can be quite fine to begin with, and they'll just cut through. And they do get quite dense when they're in a small pot. It's a really dense root mass and it makes it harder for the wires to come in. I'm just going to slip it out of the pot actually. It's quite dry. I've let these dry out a little bit. So this year they got so wet outside. Um, Oops, are looking good. Let's take that out. It's just got a top soil of um, bonsai soil. It's still got the um, original cacti succulent soil within it. This isn't actually my tree. This is um, next girlfriend's. Um, I don't mind looking after it for a, it's a lovely little tree. Let me try and get that out. Yeah, there we go. Right. Oh, still. There we go. That's better. Uh. Yeah. Pretty good. Good. It's got a nice um get rid of that pot. It's got a nice um flare at the bottom already coming on. I just scratch the top. It's quite dense on top, so I've been feeding it, fertilizing it. 
and it makes it harder for it to be watered and I do find these indoor plants um, you need a, a good even watering on them I mean you do with all plants but particularly succulents but you can also you can train the roots by um, selecting which part of the pot or the tree that you water so if you want to encourage higher roots, just spray the top. Don't let the water soak down through. I think that's all I'm going to do with that. It'll make it easier to water. The water just, when it's dense on top, you, you guys know, but the water doesn't, uh, it just sits there, runs off, makes it really hard to water. And then you end up um, soaking plants, submer submerging them in water. But indoor ones, you've got to be careful. They don't like too much water. Let's pot that. Very nice. Nice colour. I think that one came from... Neil at Devon Bonsai. He's got some good pots down there. I do find you've got to ask sometimes. Because you've only got a little shop. It's a great shop, it's got everything in there, but um, sometimes he keeps pots to one side, either to use himself or um, to clean up. styles and you can take the tree there as well so if you because I always forget I've, I've got a tree in, in my mind and I go down there even if I've done measurements um, you forget and then you pick up a, a pot bring it home then you think oh it doesn't really suit so yeah, he doesn't mind you taking trees in. I took that um, black pine down there actually. Um, tried out a couple of pots, just offered it up. So it's, it's, it's the best way to do it. It's like anything, isn't it, when you're at home. You get a load of pots and then you just tie it up. Right. Have a look in the soil because I'm, I'm going to reuse this and dress the top. I'm just going to break up this dense cacti soil. I will keep a little bit in there. Get rid of these rooty bits. Weeds. Loads of weeds. Break the moss up. Crumble it. Crumble it into the soil. It'll regrow. Right, I think we'll just we'll keep that. Dusty. Yeah, that'll hold moisture. There's some nice gravelly bits in there actually. Good for drainage. So what we we'll do, what we we'll do, grab one of them and just take some of this larger substrate, put it in the bottom. Good for drainage. Shift it around. Nice and even. Give it a tap. Get rid of all the fine stuff that sat on top of the um, the mesh. There's quite a bit of dust in there actually. You don't want the don't want too much in there. It's good for holding moisture, but eventually it'll work its way to the bottom of the pot and then it'll just clog everything up. Right, okay. 
Um, I am going to put a bit of wire in it because it's a top heavy tree and it's a small pot. Recycled wire is great for wiring in trees, making um, making your mesh holders and all that. You don't see it. Just give it a bit of a bit of that to straighten it up a little bit. Okay, I should have done this first, really. Don't. Oh. I always put the wire through the mesh, but closest on the inside of the holes, the drainage holes. You see that? If you put them on the outside, as soon as you tighten it, it just moves the mesh, it pulls it in. It's effectively pulling against the pot, not the mesh. going to do, I've used quite a thick wire because we're going to drop it in, but we're going to poke it through the soil. For obvious reasons. Okay, you can just sit it in. Sit it back in. We'll bring the wire around the back of the tree. You don't see it. This wire will um will stay in for the winter and I'll whip it out. Yeah. Always always try and make things as neat as you can. I know sometimes it's harder. Depending on where you're positioning it. I only need one wire in this. He's pretty, yeah, he's good. Shouldn't do that by the way, shouldn't put trees up by that. Bad practice. Right, just hold him down. He's good. He's actually sat on that thick, hard root there, which is good. It's already matured. It's not going to bite in that much. It's the younger roots, really, that you need to be aware of the softer. Right, we just spread a little bit of this on top. Dress it up, make it look pretty. So I tend to let these dry right out before I water them, which obviously makes it harder to water. The first, first initial dousing, it runs off, doesn't penetrate. So I often I come back sometimes three or four times. Right, good. tidy up, get rid of all this dust. Right, all cleaned up. Okay, all we're going to do is just do a little bit of pruning. I want to reduce the height. Um, and also I don't want the height getting any taller. I don't want the tree any taller. Um, this year, it hasn't done that well, this one. Um, because of the, the, the amount of rain we had, because I keep them outside and the, the pots were constantly saturated. Even though you try and keep them out of the rain, but 
you've got to compromise because they do like a fair bit of sun, morning sun is good. Um, they don't like intense um, sunlight because the leaves do scorch. So I'm just basically taking it back to um, to the nearest junction, moving two or four leaves on, just reduce it back a bit. This front one is uh, quite a nice one, but it's getting a bit leggy. They have gone quite leggy as well because of the constant dampness and lack of sun. Um, not many leaves have been produced. It's just it's got leggier and longer between each internode. Right, I think I think we're about there. I mean. Take that one, you might get a, a junction off of that. There's a lot of old leaves on here from last year and the year before. They didn't produce many leaves. Just take the ends off these so we can get some more ramification. Right, I think we're there on this one. Cuttings, loads of them. Hence why I've got loads of indoor plants. It's so easy to take. So easy. Ridiculous. So I generally what I do is I just take off a few of the lower leaves. You can use the leaves to stick them in soil. That's how easy they root. Just clean it up. And then I let them dry out, just stick them on the side, stick them on the windowsill for a couple of days. And then, um, that is a good example, and I've got these nice little training pots. Bit of soil, doesn't matter what soil you use, you can use cotton wool. Just stick them in. Keep them moist, spray them. Don't water them with a watering can or a hose pipe. Just spray them, spray them with a a sprayer, a mister, a mister sprayer, whoever he is. Anyway, I'm not going to do any cutting. <laughs> I've got hundreds of them. Right, so there's the first one, nice little tree this. Um, I haven't messed around with it too much. It's only been in this pot for um, a year. Um, it's tidy, it's cleaned up. Um, I know it's got loads of old leaves on it, which really could do with taking off. I'm going to leave them on for a minute and then what I might do in the growing season is just um, thin out the leaves um, to let more light in. It's a bit heavy around here. So I do want to encourage um, back budding. Um, I'm going to say I need to keep this tree compact and small. Right, cool. There's the first one. Next one. Right, money plant. I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna take this out of the pot, doesn't need it. Um I'm encouraging the root base to thicken up and it's just getting there at the minute. Hence why I so on these on these money plants and well any succulent really, if you if you want to um, produce a nice flare, nice um, nabari. Um, I always let these little suckers grow on the bottoms you see in there because what they do they almost become individual plants and then they start rooting out themselves so you don't just get a bulbous area at the bottom you also get new roots forming um, and it's just a, it's a good way. So I, I often leave them on until such time I think, right, 
it's done its job. We'll get rid. These weeds are amazing, really. The soil is bone dry, yet the weeds are still looking healthy. I do keep these um, in, a, in a, a large window bay in the kitchen. Gets a lot of light and it, it gets quite moist, damp where it is. So I've got single glazing in this um, cottage in the um, little room running up there, take that down. And uh, yeah, we get a lot of condensation on the windows. So it does it does help withdraw the withdraw the moisture out of the air. This one's looking pretty good actually. Um, but I think it's because I kept this one indoors over the growing season. It didn't stay outdoors very long. I just put it out when it rained just to water it and then pulled it in. So yeah, it's looking quite healthy. Right. Um, we don't need this one down here, so we're going to execute that one. Um, we'll take a few of these lower leaves off. Um, down there, I think I'll take this inside one out. Let this one grow more ramification in this area it's far enough away from this other trunk um, at the minute there's threes going on but sometimes you just gotta accept it you can't always have twos um, and it gives you options for the future basically junction in there. Just pull that a little bit. <clears throat> Just basically get rid of these. Any leaves, because they're quite big leaves, they do um, shade air, big areas. So you just need to pick your spots where you need extra light. Growing right up in the middle there. Um, not doing anything. Not contributing to anything. Growing in, it's quite a big one. That's a that'll be a great cutting. one growing in here behind this one and pull this down this one here um, growing in now I might I might leave that one actually because it's in a good position for, for later on because you get to a stage if you keep these small you get to a stage where you just chop them right back and then you you effectively restart the tree. You, it's the only way really to keep them this small. One in there, that's a good one coming out there. This will fill this area. It's quite nice. Just take that leaf off there. Just add a bit of light. There we go. That's good. So on the top, I think that's about it for tidying up. I'll leave the rest. On the top, we'll just have a quick spin around. I can see here he's a bit 
at all. He's good. It's awkward because you can see better than me. Take him back a little bit more. Take this one back because Right, looking good, I think. Right, there we go. Right, another one done. I will, um, I'll put all these outside in a minute. I'd say the, the bone dry the soil. Look good. I haven't noticed any insects on them. I have been looking. There's some nice aerial roots there that have started to form, but obviously dried up. Um, you can get some really interesting um, aerial roots forming. But you need quite a humid environment. But even up here, there's aerial roots that have pushed out. The tree does that when, when the soil becomes so dry like this. The tree senses that it's a dry area it's planted in. It thinks, oh, we need to find some water. And as I say, it's in the windowsill where it gets a lot of condensation. It's damp around the top of the tree. So the tree goes, oh, there's moisture in the air. We'll throw out some aerial roots. So if you ever want to um, develop them, that's the way to do it. Keep the bottom dry and keep the area that you want the roots to come out of um, moist wet right anyway rambling on again all right we're on this one very tall this was um an accident this one this was a branch that um was growing on the bigger one and the cats had a bit of a fight outside and this um, took the brunt of it, it um, snapped off but how long was that two years ago rooted well so they do root quite well it produces really dense I mean I put it in cactus soil and then um, grew it on a little bit really encouraged the roots and it yeah doing well so the leaves are old pretty old big as well the size of that one um, what I may do just go crazy with it I think I will go crazy with it too tall at the back too one sided. So, I mean, and this, these two, too high. This is where I gain an extra tree. I can see it. I can see it. It is, isn't it? It's gonna. It's gonna happen. Shut your eyes. Oh, what have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Right, a bit severe, I say bit, but I think we'll end up with a nice top to this, 
we'll leave these two we might lose one later but this will just flare out we'll have loads we'll have loads growing around there the tree will just go i need foliage and it would it will probably back bud so these rings where the um, internodes were when it was young in between in between each leaf that's what these rings are and you'll find that it'll push out on these you get little little shoots growing right we'll probably plant that I'll, I might as well we'll do a different video on that I'll put that on the windowsill let it dry out let it dry out for a couple of days right next one right again this was an accident this was just a, a cutting well it was a it snapped off and it was my fault i had it on a bigger tree with a small pot and the wind blew it over and it just um yeah it lost well it lost more than one branch because it rolled around then it fell over because it was around that little blue little blue um um brown pot that other one was in that's that's the one it was in it fell over and it just rolled around in the wind and um yeah yeah right so not really too bad so again look, we've got a little sucker growing down here i've left him because he's he's rooted around this you see that so it thickens things up at the bottom this was actually planted at more of that angle originally and um, it slowly worked its way up naturally yeah it's amazing so it's a good way of training them because they, they don't like being wired they do mark very easily um, so you can position them in such a fashion um, good example this one so this one was actually sat like that on the side it's just grown up little tricks the soil is so dry it's all falling out so yeah it was a simple simple way to get them to change direction and i don't really need to do a lot of pruning on them because they haven't they just haven't grown this year but it's all old leaves the one that really did anything was the one that I left indoors. I'll reduce that back. Um, got one in here. Don't need that one. It's just going to confuse things later. There's a lot of crossing branches, but you you find that something's been eating this. Oh. So not many things eat these leaves. Something's been munching on it. Oh, there's a heart-shaped leaf there. Pretty cool. But yeah, they're all old leaves. They all need whipping off, really. But um. I think what I'll do is I'll wait until I mean you've got some new growth here that has started to push out. This is all it's done this year. Nuts, isn't it? And that one. Then they're coming out heart shaped. There's two at the top there that are heart shaped. I might have to Google that, find out. You guys are probably going, oh it's because of the... Right. I think we'll leave that one. It's mainly just looking to see if there's any insects on there and 
general health. These, um, again, this is pushed out aerial roots coming off here that have just dried, shriveled. There's some here actually that's dropped in. I don't know if they're alive. There's a root underneath. And there, you can see it. It's coming down. Nice root in there, so it will give a nice flare to it. Right, okay, we'll leave that. Another one done. I do like this one. It's got a little bit of sandstone in there as well, which I found on the beach. Complements the um, terracotta pot. Right, little cascade style. Again, I just had a quick look at this. I don't need to do a lot to it. I've got one that's unwanted that's coming out right in the, the part where it's coming out of the soil but I'm going to leave it because it fattens it up sacrificial you get another year of growth on that um, I'll put the wire on after I um, put this in position so I grew it on its side I'll just put some cling film around there to hold the soil in, leave a gap at the top and then um, to hold some moisture in um, and then it grew like this but I was a bit impatient I, um, I thought oh it started shooting up and it got to a stage where it was in the position where I wanted it and then I uprighted it and uh, <laughs> about three days later it was back up again because it was such a young um, young plant it just naturally went towards the sun again and it, I say it was days so I put a bit of wire on it just just to hold it so it was already in this position get this wire out he's underneath I'll have to leave that in until I repot it He's underneath the roots, I'm pulling it and the whole thing's coming up. So these don't like being wired. They mark up. Be careful not to damage anything, so I want to leave as much on this one as possible. Establish itself. I'm not cutting the wire with these, I'm just using them as um, tweezers. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll just get rid of these like that. Um, take that one off. I think we'll just leave it like that. See, there's aerial roots coming out here. Yeah, I think you see, he's already started spring. I swear he's already sprung up. Yeah. I have used string on these. String. Um, but like a shoelace string. Flat string, shoelace. Um, just loop it over and then put a weight to hold it and um, I find that it, I hold it in position um, but it won't mark it, it won't scar it um, I do it with maples as well right I think we'll leave it like that I'll probably come down tomorrow in the morning and it'll be up here be back to square one I think it's because I took a few leaves off it's less weight on the end yeah. 
Okay, right, another one done. But right, I thought I'd just show you this. Um, lovely little plant, this. Um, not sure what it's called. Juices little white flowers. Um, nice serrated leaf to it. You can get them quite small. Um, but this little baby. Um, you see in there. I've been training this for a while. It's quite old, believe it or not, even though it's tiny. Training that trunk. They're quite difficult again because they'll always straighten up, they'll always go towards the sun. We'll have a quick tidy up on this one because it sits at the back and I don't very often get to do anything on it. And by doing this, I may not get flowers on it this year or next year. But not to worry. Plenty of opportunities later on. So we just what I want to do is just don't see me eating it. Oh it's slugs. Slugs love these. It was outside for a bit. We'll just reduce it down, get some light into it. And just cut these leaves in half and they they do heal well you can see something's been munching on this and it's it's not it's not gone back not rotted on itself it's looking quite dense in there a little sucker growing down here which is good fattens the bottom up but it's nice branch sweeping out here that'd be the first leading branch um, when it grows a bit not the best pot in the world for this it's the little baby sister of the one i got the catoni aster in i bought a set of three of them um, I, had, I think I had fuchsias in them because the fuchsias did go quite well with the with the pattern, the decor. Maybe we can take that top one off because there are leaves underneath. And that one that's shading way too much of the plant. Right, that's it. There won't be anything left of it. So yeah, there we go. So it's quite interesting. I say it's quite old. About it, about I don't know, ten years. Yeah. Interesting. Right. Bonus. Okie doke. Right. Thank you very much for watching. I'll uh, tidy up. Go and sort out this blooming. Um, shelf on the dresser that the cat destroyed right i'll, I'll probably do a, a video of the, in the future well i might do it in this week of um prepping these for um producing a new tree i think it'd be quite interesting um i won't do it now because i'm gonna leave it i'm gonna leave, leave it to dry out a little bit you want to leave them to dry out um because what you want to do is stress it so when it is in a good position in a pot it'll throw out roots um so yeah good little trick always leave them to dry out a little bit and then repot them and uh, yeah right well, i'll do that later on in the week do a little video it won't take long so there we go um <laughs> baby girl still sat there um <laughs> I'm going to have to put her back on her stand. She sits on a stand on the shelf. 
I've got loads of um, collectible bits. Um, I don't know if anybody's who does anybody know who she is? She's out of a film, Sucker Punch. If anybody's seen it, it's an amazing film. Um, worth a watch. Right, anyway, rambling on again. Right, always always rambling me. Um, I'm just going to quickly, because I want this to dry out, I'm just going to quickly take it back to there. You can see that. It's a bit long, because what I want to do is produce a twin trunk. So the roots will come out around here. And what I want is some roots to throw out on the bottoms here. Um, adds instant um, volume to the base when it throws out roots. So yeah, that's it. Right. Thank you very much for watching. Um, it's been a long video, this, but you know we've got well, how many trees do we do? Well, this will be the this will be sixth tree in that will be a tree in this video. So yeah, apologies for it being so long, but yeah, might as well film it all in one go. Individual videos on on these trees they take longer. Right, anyway, love you and leave you. Catch you later, guys.